all right welcome back to the channel if you're just joining me for the first time welcome back out at the range i got the m1a out and another great weather event has uh, been in store for me but you know i got three kids and a lot going on at the house my wife and i both work so if i've got a day planned out this is going to be it so what i'm going to do today is i got some of the standard 150 grain full metal jacket rounds i'm going to be putting down range i actually have three targets set up at my particular facility 150 yards out is how f is the maximum distance we can go so the fourth marker there on the left the white marker on the boundary that's 100 yards and i'm guessing it's about another 50 up there to the top of the hill so that's as far as we can go here um, so i'm going to put some rounds out and see i wanted to do this with 168 or 180 grain something like that or something with a little more push behind it but i didn't have any in the box so uh, be on the lookout that will probably come in a future video so what i've got i've got the norma same stuff i used last time norma tactical 150 grain i've also got a box of this stuff this is uh agula uh, 762 by 51 same thing 308 uh, 150 grain i got this at academy sports and outdoors a while back i've had this box for quite a while Each of the little 25-yard uh, markers there, they've got wind flags on them. There's not too much wind right now. The rain's definitely going to be a factor. I'm going to aim a little high. I've got my spotting scope. I'm not going to be able to go up there and check the target after every volley. I've got the rifle rest. I'm going to use that for slow fire, if you want to call it that, shots. I ended up shooting the Norma at the left target. Aim at the uh, right target there with the Aguilar and see if that makes any difference. I did have a YouTuber comment saying that when I shot the M1A from the with the bench rest that it would um, that I put a little too much pressure on the rifle and it would lift the front legs of the bench rest up. So I don't know. When I go back and edit this video, I'll be able to tell for sure. It's worth mentioning that the Norma Tactical Ammo features these uh, little black plastic keepers which secure the ammo very well in the box as opposed to most brands who have a styrofoam tray or maybe just a plain black plastic tray. Uh, if I were a reloader, I would definitely keep these for future range trips. They break apart into groups of five. I highlighted these in a previous M1A video and a user commented that you could also use these as fire starters according to the manufacturer claims. I may attempt that in a future video and see how well that works. During my editing process, you can tell that some of the firing, um, it seems like I'm shooting one round after another, but I just edited that out usually sequence and I am actually pausing a couple of seconds in between each shot to make sure I got the sights lined up and everything's on target for the best possible accurate shot. Examining the targets, I had a few of the Norma hit pretty close to the bullseye but in general most of the shots were consistent from an individual accuracy standpoint. Uh, corrections in my shooting would have explained the wild misses. The targets I used are pistol targets, they're 25 meter pistol targets. Uh, I took a marker and darkened in the outer three rings for visibility at that distance. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming by, and I'll see you in the next one.